Channel Sports Central. We go over a college football game preview and prediction on a big matchup coming up here in the Big Ten in week 11 of this 2021 college football season. And it'll be over the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Huge matchup coming up here in the Big Ten West in week 11. Should have some big implications on who wins that division in this 2021 season. So that being said, we'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today, starting out with your team trends. Minnesota in their last game lost to Illinois of all teams. 6-14 to was the final score there. Of course, Illinois has been kind of a dark horse team in the Big Ten this season. They beat Penn State in nine overtimes a couple of weeks ago. And of course, that uh, win over Minnesota is also a huge win for the Fighting Illini. Overall record for Minnesota is 6-3. and three. They were just ranked in the college football playoff rankings, but I'm assuming uh, they'll drop out for this week. This is being recorded before the rankings come out, so we don't know for sure yet, but I'm almost positive that Minnesota won't be ranked this week. Uh, But right now for the AP poll, Iowa is ranked number 19 um, for this week. Minnesota is not ranked in the AP poll. As for Iowa, they beat Northwestern 17 to 12. Overall, kind of an underwhelming win. Northwestern is one of the worst teams in the Big Ten this season, so You'd expect Iowa, especially considering this team was ranked number two a few weeks ago, to uh, to beat Northwestern by at least a couple touchdowns, but that was not the case. Close game all the way up until the end, but Iowa is 7-2, and two, and they finally uh, broke their, their losing streak of a couple of games there. They lost to, um, of course, Purdue. That was just a horrible loss, and then they got beat up by Wisconsin the next game. So, yeah, Iowa, this is a football team that, I mean, they started out the season excellent. They were undefeated for a long time. They were 7-0. and oh ranked number two in the nation, and then suddenly they take two losses, and now uh, they're barely in the top 20. So, yeah, this is a crucial game for Iowa, and honestly for Minnesota as well. Both teams are 4-2 and two in the conference heading into this game. So, winner of this game is going to be in a great position uh, to win the Big Ten West. But, of course, you got uh, Wisconsin and Purdue also 4-2 and two in the conference to worry about. So, I mean, four teams can win the Big Ten West right now, and, yes, Purdue is very much in the mix to do so. So, yeah, very interesting situation in the Big Ten West right now. Gale will be on Saturday, November 13th in Iowa City. So Hawkeyes are the home team. 2.30 p.m. Central Time. So we got an afternoon kickoff here for Minnesota and Iowa. Spread currently is Iowa by 6. Over under is 37. Uh, so it's expected to be a very low scoring game. Uh, you got two good defenses and two semi-par offenses. So uh, that totally makes sense. Um, so yeah, your over under is 37. FBI is going Iowa 69.1%. So Hawkeyes are favored in this matchup, although it is not too heavy. And considering the over-under is 37 and this should be a lower scoring game, it's kind of surprising seeing Iowa as favored as they are. Uh, You'd expect it to be like a two or three uh, point spread, but it's actually six. So uh, Minnesota, I definitely think, has got a good chance to cover that spread. Serious history, Minnesota leads at 62 to 50. Win streak is Iowa by six. So Iowa has had a lot more success in the recent history. And last time Minnesota won this game was in 2014 uh, when it was a blowout towards Minnesota. So uh, Gophers have not had too much success in the in the past decade, at least. Iowa's run uh, six in a row. So that being said, let's look at your stat comparison here. Minnesota's got 25 points per game, 18 points a lab, 153 pass yards a game, 207 rush yards a game. And that's considering, I mean, Ibrahim, he's been out this entire season pretty much. Uh, he was injured in week one against Ohio State. So I mean, if they had him and their running back core, can you imagine? I mean, this Minnesota rushing offense would be, I mean, one of the best in the nation for sure. I mean, Ibrahim going into the season uh, was expected to be one of the best running backs in the nation. So it's just super unfortunate for the Gophers that they haven't been able to have him. But how about Tanner Morgan as well? He's just not uh, looked right this entire season. He's thrown more interceptions than touchdowns. And I mean, considering how great of a quarterback he was in 2019, uh, when Minnesota was a big national contender, I mean, yeah, it's it's been an adjustment, and it's been kind of a, it's been kind of he's been a polarizing quarterback this season because of that. But yeah, for yards allowed, 195 passing, 103 for rushing. As for Iowa, 24 points per game, 15 points allowed, 185 pass yards a game, 113 rush yards, and then for yards allowed, 206 passing, and then 98 rushing. So you got two very good defenses going head to head here. So. I mean, it's expected to be a lower-scoring defensive game, and I totally think the same way. I think it's going to be a lower-scoring matchup. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a grind to get points up on the board for both these teams, uh, with with semi-par offenses going up against great defenses. Recent matchups: Minnesota lost to Illinois, beat Northwestern 41-14 on the road. So, for some correlation there, uh, Iowa only beat Northwestern by five. 
and Minnesota beat them by like four touchdowns. Uh, for Minnesota, then they beat Maryland 34-16, beat Nebraska 30-23, and beat Purdue, which Purdue is actually a very good football team this season, 20-13. I mean, in Purdue's terms, this is an outstanding season for them. They knocked off number two Iowa, and of course last week, they knocked off number three, Michigan State. So Purdue, big dark horse in the Big Ten West. No one's talking about them. You got Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin, the main contenders. And you got Purdue in the background. Do not, I mean, they're they're a team to worry about as well right now. Uh, I mean, they beat Iowa 24-7. Uh, to 7. Uh, But for Iowa, of course, I mean, this is a crucial game for them. If you want to be, if you want to win the Big Ten West, you probably, you have to win this game if you're Iowa. Because, I mean, you're already one game down on Wisconsin and Purdue because uh, you lost to both those teams. So both Wisconsin and Purdue have a game over you. And if you let Minnesota get over you too, I mean, I can imagine Iowa uh, getting to the Big Ten Championship if they lose this game. Uh, so yeah, very, I mean, there's some big implications on the Big Ten West in this matchup here. But yeah, for Iowa, beat Northwestern 17-12, uh, lost those two games, beat Penn State 23-20, to beat Maryland 51-14, as well some key points here minnesota being six and three good football team that is very inconsistent i think is the main uh, storyline for this team they play very well one week get a couple of big wins and the next week they lose to illinois uh, and only score six points in the process so obviously it's been a polarizing and it's been an inconsistent season for minnesota but this is a talented football team for sure uh, still have a good chance to win the big 10 west crucial game for the gophers and it's also a crucial game for the hawkeyes uh, this is going to have some, once again, big implications on that division. For Iowa, last three games, they have not been a very convincing football team, that's for sure. So uh, we'll see how they come out and perform in this game. Uh, offense has had struggles, but defensively, uh, this team has been great. And they've got the home field advantage as well for this matchup. The Hawkeyes do. So uh, you got 7-2 and two Iowa football team in Minnesota 6-3. and three, And Iowa's currently ranked 19th in the AP poll. Let's get to the prediction, though, here for Minnesota and Iowa. I'm going to go Iowa here, 20-17, to 17, and this is a tough one to predict here because, I mean, you got two teams that don't have much momentum right now. I mean, Iowa is in a very low part of their season, and, I mean, they need they need a momentum shifter, and, I mean, that win over Northwestern last week could help them, but that certainly was not a good win. Um, so I think Iowa, if they can get the win here, this should really help uh, turn around the uh, the momentum of this football team and i mean that's why it's so crucial for them but i mean for minnesota of course staying in contention for the big 10 championship it's also a very important game for them so i think minnesota hangs around they're definitely going to cover i think i'm pretty confident that uh, minnesota covers the six point spread towards iowa um that's kind of surprising seeing a very i mean this is going to be a low scoring game and i was favored by six so i am pretty confident minnesota does cover in this game i'm going to take the under as well i've got 37 total points for this game right now but if I'm going to take the over or the under, I'm going to take the under for this game. Uh, win probability, Iowa 55%. Um, obviously, I mean, this is being recorded pretty early on in the week, so potentially the over-under slash the spread could change over the next few days. But as for right now, I'm going to take the under and Minnesota to cover. But that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this game, and I appreciate you guys all watching. As always, stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you later.